Okay, today I'm here with the Hoppage. I think I'm saying that right. Let's have a little look at that. Hoppage, I'm presuming that's French. I do not know though. Um, HD PVR Rocket. So the reason I went for this is because it's a standalone recorder. You can, you can record it into your PC, but I don't want to do that. I just want something I can plug into the console and record straight onto a flash drive there. So that's why I went for this and had good reviews. Let's have a look. Pocket size, USB powered, HD video recorder. So you can power it from the, H from the uh, USB socket. That's good. Portable, just plug in a USB thumb drive and start recording HD. Great. Works with Xbox One, three, Xbox 360, PS3, PS4. The Wii U Plus PC game system. Okay. Um built-in microphone mixer for recording your game commentary also supports pc connect mode record trim upload and stream with twitch and youtube so you, there's a microphone included in this and there is also some software to install so you can uh, edit your videos and, and record uh, straight into it uh, let's have a look at the technical specs there if you want to see those h.264 avchd high definition video encoder that's good uh, video encoder 1080p from HDMI or component video uh, although I think through component video I don't think you'd get HD I don't know I may be wrong about that uh, no lag HDMI pass through HDMI or component into HDMI out recording data rate from 1 to 18 meg per sec or me megabits per second bits not bytes um, Recording format mp4 in standalone mode. That's good. That's what I like mp4 is a nice good quality And they're also nice light files in comparison to uh, AVC HD <laughs> um, Audio mixer Game audio on microphone microphone volume adjust to 20 times decibel or plus 20 decibel Sorry boost and mute input output connection HDMI from Xbox PC game system or other HDMI sources without HDCP component video in from PS3 with stereo audio 3.5 millimeter microphone jack good 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 uh, should be to plug my turtle beach headset straight into this uh, USB thumb drive connector HDMI out and it's got the size there and the power of 5 volts and 9 amps and the weight 4.6 ounces that's nice and light and it's got a bit about the software there as well. So um, what we'll do is we'll, we'll crack this open and take a look at it. Okay, so the first thing we've got here is the, um, the well, we've got the paperwork there. Quick start guide and whatnot. We'll have a little scan of that. Um, perhaps at the end of the video, I'll do some close-ups. That's quick start guide so you can take a little look. Uh, but this is the device itself in a nice um, padded cover. There you go, it is nice and light. Big bad red record button there. So this should be nice and easy. One press to start, one press to stop. Lovely. Uh, USB 2, because 3 is usually blue inside. So, and we got the microphone 3.5 mil jack there. That's the top. All this here is supposed to be touch screen. So we see how that performs. Uh, touch sensitive. Uh, we got the power supply there, uh, the USBs and power supply and it's all in one av what's that say a e, av in is it av in i think that's an s video lead if i'm not mistaken i haven't seen one of them for a long time uh we've got hdm out and a hdmi in so it's a pass through so you should be to watch what you're doing on your tv uh while this is recording so it's going straight through so we've got a nice ring light there that goes all the way around the device or pretty much all the way around the device which should light up um, red I think when it's recording that's what it says at the bottom there 5 volts um, so let's, uh, let's see what else we got here in the box here we have um, our USB leads there's two plugs on the end of this uh, I think one is going to be for the power and the other for data and the other side plugs into the device we have what looks like an s video lead with two component cables uh, these are females and here are the males that will plug into those if you're using a ps3 
or whatnot, you will need that. That's the plug there that goes into the back of the PS3. I don't know if you can see that very well. You may recognize that if you have a PS3. And we have here the HDMI cable. It's nice to see a HDMI cable actually comes with it because so many things don't come with HDMI cables. It's ridiculous. And lastly, it's of course the microphone there. Nice of them to include a microphone, a little um, tie type clip on mic. Um, but I don't think I'll be using it. I'll probably use my uh, Turtle Beach headset. Uh, but I will test it out to see what the quality is like. And that's it. Empty box. So uh, let's see how this rocket rocks. I know that rhymed. It wasn't meant to. Okay, guys, quick note. It says on this covering letter that is in the box. There's some points here that users have um, brought up that there's problems like with the point two there's low audio volume in recordings it does say to um, plug it in and there's a firmware update that should solve this um, go to the website which is go to um, www.hopage.com forward slash rocket you will find this page and it, you can then install the firmware so there's two ways you can do it onto a, you can save it onto the, download the file and save it onto a thumb drive and then plug it into your capture, onto your rocket, or you can just do it by plugging the rocket in via USB and doing it straight from there. So that's what I'm going to do, I've saved the file, I've downloaded it, I've plugged the rocket in to USB with the black lead, now we can't see this now, we turn this up, okay the black USB lead is plugged in, one labelled PC. And the red one's just hanging there because we don't need that at the moment. So it's plugged in and I'm going to run the file. There's my mouse. Oh, over here it's got... Are you sure you want to do this? Let it take control. Oh, over here again. Let's bring this over here. We can see it a little better. Um, there you go. Uh, please check that your product is connected via USB 2. So I have, I have plugged it in by USB 2 and not 3. Um, show driver installation window. I'll tick that. I can't. Oh, there it goes. So I guess it might show me a little what's going on. It's over here. <laughs> um, drivers have ex been in updated successfully. That was nice and quick. Changes will take effect after you restart your computer. Computer? Okay. And show, show details. Just click that, and there's a lot of stuff there. I don't really know any what's what's what there. So um, click the exit of exit. Updating. What's updating now? Okay. Wireless updating. It said it should flash. I didn't notice if it did because I was looking at the screen. Can't see anything there. It's not flashing at the moment. Oh, it says complete. I'm just gonna click finish. And that should be done. It says on the instruction thing uh, on the website that you can just unplug it now once it's finished. So I'm unplugging it. Okay, so I've plugged it all in, set it up. Basically, I've plugged in. There's something you need to do before you set it up, actually, I'm going to show you. So I plugged in the USB port. This is going to the PS4. The red lead goes, goes in the PS4. The black lead just stays out. Okay, because the console lead, I don't know if you can see that in focus, you can't. The console lead is the red one, so the red one goes in the PS4, the black one stays out, and then it gets plugged into the rocket. The HDMI, I have not plugged that in yet, it just goes to the floor. Reason being is because it will not work if you just plug it in. You have to do something on your PlayStation 4 first, otherwise you will just get a black screen, you'll only get audio. So what you need to go go to is this go into the settings and find the system settings there and if I can find my controller you need to disable this option here where it says enable HDCP you need to disable that it'll ask you to confirm click yes and then the one above it enable HDMI device link that you need that to be enabled so you turn that on I meant to turn this one off Oh, I, I, I selected no, sorry, that's yes. <laughs> okay, you see the screen goes black, it comes back. So the bottom one's off, the middle one is on. So that's what you need to do. And now I can plug the USB 
the, the USB from the console into this. The microphone just fell off. Okay, I can now I can now take out the HDMI from the back of the telly and put it into this device in the the in slot, and then I can connect this lead here out into the telly. Okay, I've done that now. I have now plugged it all in. The HDMI, the blue one here comes from the console and the black one goes to the TV. So you can see it's flashing red there, excuse the tinsel, it's Christmas time. So there's a green light that, makes, that lets you know it's all good. The red flashing means there's no USB port, so a uh, USB device, so I'm gonna plug that in. Up and try and do this with one hand. Oh. <laughs> okay, that's plugged in now. And it's stopped flashing, it's all gone green, which means we're good to go. So at the top here we have the, au the audio uh, volume there. Um, it's a bit weird because you can't turn this up and down unless you press the padlock. Now the padlock's lit up red, we can just touch this and turn up the, and down the volume. But there's still no feedback to how, how loud your voice is. I thought this would bounce up and down, perhaps like a meter, but it doesn't. So you have no idea really how, vo how loud your voice is. I'm going to put it up on full. And you also have a mute button there so you can mute it altogether. But um, I think this is a bit weird. You should... I think if that was off, you'd think you would... But uh, it is an unlocked padlock, I guess. So, anyway. We'll keep it on and we'll just play... Leave it on. Leave it on full if I can get it up there. Okay. And I've plugged in the default mic that came with it. Because I want to test this out. Oh, I can actually hear it through the TV. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, it does work, okay. So you do get some feedback, I guess, if we had headphones plugged in. Hello. All right. So let's, um, let's just press record. And it's lit up red now. So presumably it is all good in the hood and it's recording and I've got the mic by my mouth. I can no longer hear it through the TV. So when it's recording, I guess it knocks off your, knocks off the, the audio from the mic. Um, so anyway, so I'll, I'll press stop now and test what this looks like. So it's flashing there to say that it's finished. There it goes, green, all's good. So we'll take out the drive. It's a tiny little drive, hard to get out, right? It's flashing red now to say there's no drive in it. So let's plug it in the laptop and see how we get on. Okay, you'll have to excuse me if you can hear that washing machine in the background. It, it is going on, so and I'll just try and ignore it. So. I plugged it in here and we've got a file. It's got a bunch of numbers, which is pretty much the date and time, I think. Starting with 2016, the year, 11th month, 28th day, that's right, and 1521. That's not right, that, that's not right. It's 20, it's 1421, roughly. But anyway, it doesn't matter. As long as the date is there, I guess. So the file is, you know, I say in there, 1522. I think my system time must be wrong. Nope, system it must be, I don't know, whatever. Anyway, so the file size, 14, uh-oh, 666, six, six, that's not good. Um, so we will play this, if I can get this focused, focus, please. So let's play this. So presumably it is all good in the hood and it's recording and I've got the mic by my mouth I can no longer hear it through the TV so when it's recording I guess it knocks off your knocks off the, the audio from the mic um, so anyway so I'll, I'll press stop now and test what this looks like oh yeah happy with that sound quality was great actually I was quite impressed with that I thought that mic would be a little bit of a on the cheap side but uh, it worked out quite well. The quality of the video is perfect HD. If you can really see, you can't really. You can just see a reflection of me. Uh, uh, it's hard to see on this, but it is perfect HD, and the sound quality is pretty damn good too. I don't know how that would come up. Obviously, this is a menu. There's no. I've even turned off the background music, so there's nothing apart from my voice so it sounds nice and clear whether that would be the same in a game I do not know because obviously games can get quite loud and rowdy 
Uh, I'm trying to talk over that. I don't know. It'd probably be... I would always recommend if recording gameplay that you record your audio in a different device. You can always download an app on your phone, plug the microphone into your phone, start recording the same time as you press record on the device and then do it that way so you've got it separate and that way in your editor you can adjust your voice volume when needed. Uh, I wouldn't recommend recording your voice audio with the game but there you go, it's totally up to you. So that's it. I could try this out with a game perhaps, uh, see how it goes and maybe play a bit of footage here just to see what the sound is like with the game noise in the background, um, we'll see. But other than that, all's good, I'm happy with it, it works fine as long as you remember to do those settings there, in the settings under system, right, which is right at the bottom, uh, look for the two there, hit a Enable HDMI device link needs to be on and enable HDCP needs to be off when you do unplug this device from the console though you will need to um, Switch those back otherwise you won't be able to watch anything. I don't think you can watch anything then from Amazon or anything like that Prime or um, Netflix You have to switch it back the other way around so you have to untick the HDMI device link and retick the HDCP. Write this down because it's. If you've got a bad memory like me, it's much easier to write it down and then you've got it noted then, just in case you forget. So anyway, I'm going to leave it there because that washing machine is going nuts. Um, uh, that's it. Have fun. Okay, so this is a test with uh, my Turtle Beach headset, I forget the name of it, P something, on the side, PX22, so uh, just testing what the quality, the sound quality is like on these headphones, Turtle Beach PX22, end test. Okay, so after a bit of research, I realised um, that I needed an adapter in order to record from a gaming headset because as you can look on this picture here the gaming headset on the left there has four poles microphone ground right and left um, whereas the microphone input on the device only has the three which is um, down the bottom there it's got a ground audio out and mic so um, it's not gonna work you can plug it in and you can hear things but I am um, if, when you record your voice, although it does actually record, strangely enough, it is ridiculously quiet, as you just heard from that last test. Sounds like you're underwater. So, basically what you need to do is buy an adapter. You can get this nice and cheap, it's about five on Amazon. Basically what this does is separates the microphone signal from the headphone signal uh, into two separate plugs. So you can um, just plug in the microphone one into the device after plug in your headphones into the other end and it works perfectly so that is what we're going to show now I'm going to show you the, the test I made from that and then we're going to go on with the other tests from the uh, default mic okay this is a test uh, with the PX22 Turtle Beach headphones and mic uh, plugged into the adapter and then plugged into the rocket Okay, so this is um, going to be a, t a sound test, in-game sound test on this uh, HDR rocket thing. Okay, I don't like this map very much. What have I got? Shepard. Oh, man. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, you missed. Um, I did test this out with my Turtle Beach. I don't think I... Well, oh, hang on. Ah, you missed, boy. Um, I don't think it was working because of where I can hear the my voice through the TV with this mic plugged in, the mic that came with the device. I cannot hear anything when I'm wearing my headphones for some reason. I don't understand that, but... Um, so I, I haven't looked back at the recording yet just to see what, what the sound's like. 
I, I got a funny feeling it's not going to be working, but I don't understand why. The thing with this mic is, whoops, ooh, um, I'm going to have to sit close to the TV because it's not very long. And so, and so uh, I'm sitting right in front of the TV. Would have been nice to have a longer mic, but if you if you record games uh, at a desk, then you know you're way to go. You'll be sitting, you won't be sitting far from it. Anyway, and it's a clip-on mic, so it is now clipped to my shirt. Whoops, I missed it. Ah, uh, it's now clipped to my shirt, my t-shirt thing. Alright, so that will be enough of a test. I'm not going to record this whole game. <laughs> so let's just leave it there. I um, hope this was a little good in little insight for you. And um, that, that's it. So far, it seems to have passed my tests. And uh, let me just try Let me just go, try this volume thing as I record in here. So if I'm talking normally now and the volume's going down, this, this is... Uh, this is halfway down, I don't know if there's much difference there in my voice, halfway down and it's going down, it's two bars here, just the two bars, down to one bar, that's as low as you can go without muting it, it's down to one bar there and that's up to three, it's up to four now, up to four bars there, up to five bars, six bars, six bars, seven bars, seven bars and then back up the top to eight bars, um, so there you go, just a quick test there on the volume, <coughs> excuse me there so there you go bye bye